We are all aware of the fact that Elon Musk is working on a vehicle that could revolutionize space travel. The Starship, as it is well known, will be fully reusable transportation system capable of taking up to 100 people to Mars. However, this pretty much has existential threats, such as a massive asteroid strike that could wipe out humanity. Well, settlement on other planets could also put humanity in one of them. In this video, we will be talking about the SpaceX Wonder Weapon, the Super Heavy. If you are new to this channel, we warmly welcome you. Also, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel so you never miss an update. In 2016, at an international conference in Mexico, Musk said, History is going to be bifurcate, along in two directions. One path is we stay on Earth forever, and then there will be some eventual extinction event. The alternative is to become a spacefaring civilization and multi planet species, which I hope you would agree is the right way. Elon Musk has also frequently expressed his desire to build cities on Mars. He believes that settlements will require a larger number of people to become self-sustaining. Although this dream necessitates the use of a vehicle that is up to the task, the Starship is a rocket and spacecraft combination that can transport more than 100 people to Mars at once. The system is intended to be fully reusable, which means that the main hardware elements are not discarded into the sea or allowed to burn up, as is the case with some other launch systems, but are instead recovered from space. They can then be refurbished and reflown, lowering the cost of the operation. Let's talk about Starship. The Starship spacecraft will be launched atop the Super Heavy rocket. The combined system, known as Starship, will stand 120 meters, 394 feet tall. Let's start with the spacecraft. The stainless steel vehicle, with its nose cone and landing fins, is reminiscent of rocket ships from the golden age of science fiction. Six highly efficient Raptor engines, developed over a decade by SpaceX, are located at the back of the 50 meter long craft. The combustion occurs in two stages, and the engine's design reduces the amount of propellant wasted. The propellant tanks are located near the center of the vehicle. These provide the Raptors with liquid methane, CH4, and liquid oxygen, O2. The fuel is methane, and oxygen acts as an oxidizer, a chemical that causes the fuel to burn. Methalox is the name given to this combination. Although methane is an unusual fuel for rocket engines, it can produce a significant amount of thrust. It's also a wise choice in light of Musk's Mars plans. The SpaceX founder claims that using a chemical process known as the Saboteur reaction, CH4 could be synthesized from Martian subsurface water and atmospheric carbon dioxide. Refueling the Starship with Martian resources for a return trip to Earth would confer a level of self-sufficiency, making journeys both more feasible and cost-effective. A large payload compartment near the front of the spacecraft, which is sometimes referred to as the upper stage, will be capable of transporting large cargo or people to destinations in deep space. Let's move on to the rocket. Measuring 70 meters, 230 feet long, Super Heavy will be filled with 3,400 tons of cryogenic methalox. It will be powered by around 32 Raptor engines. This specification has changed several times and should achieve more than 70 mega newtons of maximum thrust. It should be able to lift at least 100 tons of payload and possibly as much as 150 tons to low Earth orbit. Super Heavy will be more powerful than the massive Saturn V launcher used for the Apollo moon missions in the 1960s and 1970s. Let me tell you one thing. SpaceX still has weeks to months of testing ahead before its first flight. The booster will launch the Starship into space for a once around the Earth trip, culminating in a landing in the waters of the Hawaiian Islands in the Pacific. The Super Heavy will be sunk in the Gulf of Mexico. However, SpaceX ultimately wants both segments of future vehicles to make controlled landings, either on land or on sea platforms, so that they can be reused. Company CEO claims that once fully developed, the Starship system will be more than capable of transporting humans to the moon and Mars. It could also quickly transport people around the world. Another obvious application is the placement of satellites in orbit. 
As per reports, NASA has already contracted SpaceX to build a version of the Starship upper stage capable of landing astronauts near the lunar south pole by the end of this decade. The 6th of August's milestone follows months of breathtaking activity in Boca Chica. At Starbase, engineers have created a series of prototypes. These have aided the design team in determining the best method for producing the massive stainless steel craft. SpaceX technicians have also gained valuable flight experience by launching some of the Starship iterations on high altitude hops. The B-4, the Super Heavy Booster, and Ship 20 are the code names for the segments that briefly mated on 6th August. The pair will not take off until they received permission from the Federal Aviation Administration. The government agency is currently conducting an environmental review and will hold a 30-day public consultation at some point. As a result, the first orbital flight is still some time away. Musk, on the other hand, is adamant that it will happen before the end of the year. The Falcon Heavy, also built by SpaceX, is the most powerful rocket currently in operation. At launch, this generates 23 mega newtons of thrust. However, Elon Musk shares breathtaking images of the Super Heavy rocket on its way to the launch pad. The SpaceX Monster is loaded with rocket engines and ready to launch the Starship spacecraft into orbit. Something about seeing a rocket on Earth piques one's interest. It holds great promise in terms of power and potential. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, shared a trio of stirring images of the rocket that will escort a Starship prototype spacecraft into orbit last week. Musk posted photos of the massive super heavy rocket dangling in the air from a crane on Twitter with the caption, Moving rocket to orbital launch pad. Musk and SpaceX recently shared images of the rocket's 29 Raptor engines, which will launch from the company's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas. All of that power is required to propel the Starship, a spacecraft designed to eventually reach the Moon and Mars, into orbit for the first orbital test flight. So far, SpaceX has hopped a number of Starship prototypes, some of which have landed safely and others have exploded. Getting into orbit would be a significant step forward for Musk's more ambitious space exploration plans. SpaceX intend to transport a group of artists around the moon, build a lunar lander for NASA, and one day transport humans all the way to Mars. While the Starship and Super Heavy rocket combination is progressing, no launch date has been set. With all of this, we wrap up our video. If you've liked this, make sure to subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated from the very latest. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for next time.